Hi guys, it's Ben Heath from Lead Guru, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about how Facebook's default location targeting settings are wrong, what you should do instead. But before I go down, I just wanna very quickly ask you to smash that like button, that really helps me out and is much appreciated. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you're new, you are new and haven't done so already. I'm releasing Facebook advertising related content just like this all the time, it's very, very important to your results, so go ahead and do that. Now, Facebook's default location targeting settings, let's get into it. So. I'm in an example Facebook ad account and I'm going to create a campaign to show you what the current situation is and um, what the issue is and what you should do instead. So I just created a quick conversions campaign. That's the campaign objective I use the most. We're gonna to jump to the ad set level because of course the ad set level is where the targeting um, settings are dealt with, including location targeting, where you're going to advertise to geographically. Now you can see that the location default is United Kingdom. That's because I'm in the United Kingdom. And your location default in terms of where you select is very much going to be up to your business. It could be the country that you're in. It could be multiple countries if you uh, operate internationally. It could just be a specific geographical area. So for example, I live in a town called Cheltenham um, in the west of England. And I, for example, if I was a local business, could go with something like this, right? Just advertised to within 18 miles of my location. Personally, as a Facebook ads agency owner, we are usually going to be advertising either nationally within the UK or even internationally, including countries like the US, Canada, Australia, things like that. But that's not what I really wanna talk about here. I've got other videos talking about the location targeting, how to work it out and things along those lines. The part that I want to focus on in this video is this section up here. Now you can see that Facebook's default location targeting setting is people living in or recently in this location. If we click this little drop down, you'll see that there are various options, four options in fact. You can either go with people living in or recently in this location, which is the default. You can go with people living in this location, people recently in this location, people traveling in this location. Facebook provides more information around what that is. Now, this being the default will provide you with the largest possible audience, but I think that's a big issue. There are lots of businesses that want to advertise to people within the local area or even within a country that have no interest in advertising to tourists or business travelers or anything like that. If you're a service-based business and you operate, let's say, in London, the chances, and you know, you're a service like something fairly significant that people only buy relatively locally, um, the chances that you want, you're gonna get a customer who is someone who does not live in London, is going to be very, very small. They're more likely, let's say you're a, a roofer, for example, okay? People are only gonna hire a local company to do that for the most part. Um, you do not want to be advertising to tourists or business tra travelers. And if you're advertising in a place that gets a lot of tourists and gets a lot of business travelers, you think of big cities like London or New York, for example, that might represent an enormous amount of the people that you're advertising to if you just say, I want to advertise in this area, I want to advertise in London or in a specific part of London, and I want Facebook you to advertise to people living in or recently in this location. That might, the recently in might double the numbers because people are going in and out of a city like London all the time. Um, that could represent a massive waste of your budget. You know, again, the, the degree to which this is an issue is really gonna depend on where you're advertising and how many people are traveling in and out. But if I was to advertise to the whole of the UK, for example, um, I don't know the exact numbers, but, and obviously it's gonna be affected depending on you know what year you, you're operating in and how much travel there is and things, but let's assume things that are normal travel-wise, there's probably tens of millions of people that visit the UK every year that don't necessarily live in the UK. And if my customers are only people that are going to, that are actually living in the UK, well, that's a, Massive problem and a massive waste of my budget. It's also part of the reason we've had um, issues before where people have, have commented and they said things like, I'm only advertising this location, but Facebook seems to be showing my ads to people outside of this location. A lot of it might be this. If you're advertising to the whole of the US, are you aware that with this default setting, you're gonna be advertising not only to people that live in the US, but also all the people that have recently visited the US? A lot of Facebook advertisers aren't aware of that, but that could be a real big problem. So I'd recommend that the majority of advertisers go with people living in this location. Now, of course, you have to run a common sense filter on this and make sure that it works for your business. So if you are a restaurant, for example, or a business that is tourist friendly, 
or business traveler friendly and you're very happy to be advertised to people that are traveling or moving in and out, then absolutely you can leave it with the default. You can even specifically target people recently in this location or even people traveling in this location. But I think for Facebook to have the default to include people recently in this location, particularly when you're including um, like advertising on the country level, there's probably in a regular year, I wouldn't be surprised if 100 million people, 50 million people that don't live in the US visit the US. And if you're advertising for that whole year, you could potentially be advertising to all those people that visited from all over the world, then left and went home. They're never gonna be your customer. You may not even be able to sell your products and services to them once they've gone home um, and you're wasting a huge amount of money. So just have a think about your business and what it is that, uh, where your customers are gonna come from. Is it actually just in that location? Which it is gonna be for the majority of people watching this, I'm sure, in which case, absolutely make sure you go with people living in this location. That's certainly what I think Facebook should have as their default, even though they don't. And um, that may well help improve your results. Okay, before you go, a couple of things I wanna mention. The first is our Facebook advertising services. So my company, Lead Guru, is a specialist Facebook and Instagram advertising agency. We create, manage, and optimize Facebook and Instagram ad campaigns for our clients. And if you wanna get better results, we can almost certainly help you achieve them. So. If you're interested in finding out more, the best thing to do is click on a link in the video, descri video description below. That'll take you to a page on our website and you can book in a call, free call with one of my team members there. No obligation just to find out more about your business, how we work, all that sort of stuff. Um, we do have a 3K per month minimum budget. So please only book a call if you meet that, that criteria. Um, and um, yeah, maybe we'll get a chance to uh, to work together. Now, if you don't meet that criteria, you don't have that budget, or if you do and you want to do this yourself as opposed to working with um, a professional company like mine, one of the things I'd strongly recommend you do is check out a free webinar I've created called Three Killer Facebook Ad Strategies to Double or More Your Revenue. And in this webinar, it breaks down the three sales funnels that we use most often with our clients that perform fantastic results. We I, In this webinar, I've broken down exactly how the sales funnels work and you can work out, okay, my business is this type, therefore I need to use this of the three strategies. This is how it works. You can work all that on the webinar. Strongly recommend you check it out, completely free. Link again is in the video description below. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. If this video has been useful, please comment to let me know. Comment if you've got questions and things like that. Hit that thumbs up button, that'd be much appreciated. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Thanks a lot guys, bye for now.